Welcome back. Remember this thing from such videos as yesterday? Um, I made a mistake on this one. Uh, I mean, there were a couple of mistakes made, but I corrected those, but there's one that I didn't catch. However, one of my keen eyed Patreon supporters, Mike did spot it. Um, so I am going to, I don't know, explore what's going on and why this mistake isn't causing this thing not to work. So the mistake is, um, see this is, there's the two different boards are pretty much the same as, as we described earlier. Let me just zoom in here. So that's Q3 there, which is, where are we here? That Q3 there, it's the third one in the oscillator. Um, so this is on board A, the second one that I did. Just go with it. And it is aligned the way the silk screen shows. But on board B, I put the damn thing in backwards. Normally, you would expect it not to work. But as you can see, uh, LED 16 here, 17, 18 all working which are part of that circuit you can see it up there why why is it working it shouldn't be working so with this guy in backwards uh emitter and collector reversed essentially why is it working here's here's how it's supposed to be and here's how it is everything's the same except for that's backwards so why is it still working? Well, the one thing to remember is just because the emitter side looks sort of like a diode, it kind of is and it kind of isn't. It's a diode with respect to the base, but with respect to the collector, it's just a path through. You can pass AC through it, right? As long as the base is seven tenths of a volt higher then the emitter, sorry, I'm pointing it the wrong, as long as the base is higher, is uh, three quarters of a volt higher than the emitter, then you can pass current through the collector and emitter. Well, let me show you on a breadboard. Okay, so on this breadboard, we've got five volts. I'll just, there's five volts coming in. Um, I've got the ground on the emitter. Same as it is here. I've got a current limiting resistor and an LED going up to the positive rail. And I've got a resistor for the base just to limit the base current so they don't blow this guy up. Although I shouldn't with that current limiting resistor. Regardless. So in this configuration, which is how the circuit is supposed to be, if I put the base resistor to the positive voltage, the path through the collector emitter uh, becomes active and there's almost no voltage drop across the collector emitter. But between the emitter and the base, there's that three quarters of a volt that I was talking about, right? And from ground to, well, okay. So that's, that's basically that. Let's turn it off now. And there is essentially, there's only 2.6 volts across this. Right now, that's an open circuit, right? The collector emitter is an open circuit. The base voltage, there is no base voltage because it's, it's open. So the voltage at the collector is 2.6 volts. And where that's coming from is there's a fixed voltage drop across an LED, right? always going to be a fixed voltage drop across an LED. So now then, what happens if we flip the transistor around? As I accidentally did in that circuit. Normal thinking would have you believe that this isn't going to work when I put the base to high voltage, but there it is. Why? 
so there's ground uh, so right now that is the collector over there and the emitters over here so let's just uh, check what the voltage between the emitter and the base is Ooh, three quarters of a volt from ground it's also three quarters of a volt why because there's zero voltage drop across the collector emitter so whatever voltage the emitter is at the collector is going to be at right so why is that happening that's because the voltage that i'm applying to the base is five volts right and then there's the as the current starts uh, being pulled through there it pulls it down but so there's like four and a quarter volt drop across that resistor right now with the current flowing through it but the so that's going to be five volts but this is remember this is a fixed voltage because of the voltage drop of the led and also remember that the collector emitter can pass voltage in either direction once it's turned on so that's why this thing is working even though it shouldn't be if this load was anything other than something with a fixed voltage drop if it was a resistive load or something like that or a high impedance load then you wouldn't have that fixed two point something volts drop there that's what's happening that's why this thing works even though it shouldn't unless I'm completely at the lunch if you got a better explanation as to why this thing's working let me know in the meantime I'm going to set this thing right just because now that I know it's wrong even though it works it's gonna bug me okay it was a bit of a struggle to get it out but there it is back in place I just have to solder it back in I hope I don't break anything else with, with all the excess heat it would suck if I was to lift the pad on this board or something but since the board is the fiberglass type that's a little blobby you clean the that's better yeah that's better hey okay. now does it still work yes it does so these things i think you've seen those these things before on the channel um these are what i use to help me desolder them because i bent the leads on the transistor they didn't work as well as they might have otherwise they are hollow stainless steel desoldering needles um basically you pick one that will fit through the hole and whose inner diameter will fit around the leg of your component like that and you just heat it up hold it over the component lead and heat it and shove it through um being stainless steel the solder won't solidify onto this and you can just wiggle it back out again and it leaves the component lead floating in the hole without any solder attaching it found out about these from uh, the learn electronics channel on youtube check him out if you're um if you're a learner or even if you're experienced there's uh, you can always learn something and he's a pretty clever dude over there um he was a professional teacher for a while and now he's semi-retired i think but he's still teaching on youtube which is awesome anyway that's it for this one um this is just a little quick correction and uh and clarification and whatnot um thanks to uh mike uh, one of my generous patreon supporters for spotting that and pointing it out to me um and uh to any of the rest of you who spotted it well done your eyes are working better than mine 
anything else to say uh, or any other answers or different answers than what I came up with, let's talk about it down in the comments. Maybe there's something that I missed. It probably is. I do that a lot. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later.